It depends on the facts of your case. Most often, working a part-time job is a neutral factor, neither helping nor harming a case. Occasionally, a judge will draw the wrong conclusions from a claimant's work effort, but this possibility should not be a reason to avoid a part-time job. If you work, the judge will look closely at your ability to perform work activities. For example, if you are under age 50, to win your case you probably must prove that you cannot do any kind of easy job on full-time basis. So if you are doing a hard job part-time, the judge will wonder why you cannot do an easy job full-time. To avoid this problem, discuss with your lawyer the part-time job you are considering. However, claimants who work part-time usually do not perform jobs that are inconsistent with their disability claims. Working part-time at a job that is consistent with your claim may actually help by illustrating what you are capable of doing and showing your work limitations. If you ask employees of the Social Security Administration, or SSA, this question, they are likely to tell you to keep your income below what is called the Substantial Gainful Activity Amount, which for 2011 is $1,000 per month in gross income, not take-home pay. The Substantial Gainful Activity Amount is an absolute cutoff point. To see the Substantial Gainful Activity Amount for 2012 and beyond, please visit this page of the SSA website. If you are going to work, it is best to keep your income far below the substantial gainful activity amount. The closer your gross income is to SSA's limit, the more likely it is that problems will arise in your case. There are advantages to keeping your income below what SSA calls the Trial Work Period Services Amount, which in 2011 is $720 per month in gross income, so we recommend you do just that. To see the Trial Work Period Services Amount for 2012 and beyond, please visit this page of the SSA website. It is possible, but we don't recommend it. SSA's rules allow the agency to find that a person who is working part-time in his or her own business and actually losing money is engaging in substantial gainful activity. A claim can be denied on this basis alone. Although trying to start your own business after you've already been found disabled may be a different story, it is not a good idea before you've been found disabled. Talk to your lawyer before you get very far into starting your own business while your disability case is pending. Your attorney will take testimony about your work. You will probably be asked to explain it in detail. We also need to provide income records such as W-2 forms or check stubs. Be sure to save these documents and provide them to your attorney when he or she is gathering evidence to prepare for your hearing.